Once you're charging jumps and popping off the lip, it's time to start learning the slew of different grabs. The key to scoring not just one grab, but all your different grabs is learning to pop off the lip at just the right moment and learning how to direct the pop up through the legs so the board comes up into your hand for the desired grab. Make sure that you're in a balanced stance on your in-run to the feature. Avoid being too much on the back foot. Be sure to wait to pop off the lip until the back foot is coming off the feature. This will give the most amplitude and pop through the board. Once the board pops, it will be pushing up towards your core. This is where you can allow the board to come up into whatever grab you're looking to style out. For a nose grab, you'll want to let the pop push the front leg up and keep the back leg extended off the lip. For a tail grab, let the pop push up the back leg and keep the front leg extended. For a method air, let the pop push the board up while contracting the muscles in the back of the legs. For the mute, indie, and a number of other grabs, let the pop push both legs straight up underneath you. Once your board is coming up to you for whatever grab you're trying to score, it will be easy just to extend your arm and grab hold. For your landing, your core should still be balanced. Just extend your legs to meet the ground, absorb your landing, and ride away. Practice dialing in your stance to stay balanced in the air. Step two, learn how to adjust the timing of your pop to get the most out of the takeoff. Step three, practice using your body and especially your legs to direct the pop and adjust the board's position while in the air. My name's Doug and this video has been brought to you by sierrasnowboard.com. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.